Right, we're talking Holy Redeemer Boys Basketball here at our Carol and Janelle, the pizza capital of the world, and uh, Tom Layton, assistant coach with us. And Tom, let's talk a little bit about this year's group. Uh, tell us about this team. Yeah, right now we're uh, eight and seven. Um, we've had some good wins on the season so far. We've also had some tough losses. I think three or four of our losses we were leading in the fourth quarter and ended up losing the game by a couple points. So that's been tough. But as the season goes on, we're just trying to tell these guys, you know, we're preparing for districts. You know, we want our goals in the beginning of the to first win the conference title and then hopefully get to the arena. So that's what we're striving to do, um, learning each day, practicing hard. Uh, we have six seniors, so we're depending on them for their leadership. Uh, we have some underclassmen, juniors and sophomores who have stepped up so far. So taking it one game at a time. You talk about uh, having some of that senior leadership is good. How about getting some of these younger players involved? Because, you know, it will be years to come. You guys are yeah. hoping to... to Continue to build the program there at Holy yeah, Redeemer. We have uh, two sophomores who are basically seeing starters minutes, uh, Calm Cook and Nick Proshak. Uh, we have a two-year starting point guard, Joey Judge, a junior. So basically three or four guys for next year will come up. Um, you know, we always try to work the JV guys too because we're preparing them for the future. So, you know, we're getting contributions from sophomores, juniors, and seniors this year. How about the league overall, playing different teams, everybody's kind of have it. Seems like it's a kind of a breath of fresh air, refreshing everybody saying, hey, we get to play some big schools, some smaller schools. Yeah, Division Two was, I mean, we uh, we played Nanny Cook and Tunk, Tunk Camp to start the season and beat both of them. And then Wyoming area and Berwick, Myers and GR all got us. But like I said in the beginning, uh, those were games that we were in the fourth quarter. So like we tell the guys, each game is a learning experience and hopefully down the road that will be off for us. Coach Guido, you know, has a style about him. Of course, you have to kind of compliment what he does. <laughs> Talk a little bit about that basketball IQ of these guys and that, you know, at Holy Redeemer, uh, these guys love the game of basketball. Yeah, he, uh, he gives them, every one of those guys, an opportunity to play. I would definitely say he's a player's coach. Um, those guys feel comfortable running something. He always says they can run it, so he'll guide them along, but, you know, he's definitely a player's coach and, and the guys love to play for him. Right, well, we appreciate you coming out tonight. All right, thank you. We continue the conversation with the Holy Redeemer boys basketball team, Luke Nealon with us, and Luke, let's talk about your role this year on the team. What does coach say, hey, I need you to do this every game? Uh, I'm, I consider myself more of like a big, like a rebounder, uh, more of a defender too. I'm not so much a big scorer. I come in, I play a lot of defense, uh, try to grab as many rebounds as I can for the team and help us out any way I possibly can. Six seniors with this group, so there's some leadership there. Talk about what you think the group of seniors try to do this year to kind of rub off on some of those younger players. Um, in the locker room, you know, we'll step up like the younger kids. They're always uh, playing hard, and their leadership is good too. So I mean, we have a great, great group of kids, great, great leadership on our team. So all around, it's good. Not just the seniors, but juniors, sophomores, everybody. You also play some volleyball at Holy Redeemer. There's yeah. been some success with the, that program. Talk about uh, what you expect your role to be uh, coming up. Well, last year I, I I started from the first time we won the district championship, and we made it to the second round of states. So this year I'm, in, I'm hoping for another district championship because my freshman and sophomore year we won also. So hopefully another district championship and deep, deep into states. A couple weeks of basketball still on the docket and then of course the playoffs come up. You guys are kind of in that middle, eight and seven or so. Yeah. What do you guys need to do to kind of say, okay, let's put that you know, gas pedal to the floor and see what we, we come up with? I think we need to uh, play play stronger and play together at the end of games because a lot of times we'll have teams on the ropes at the end of the games we'll have leads and then at the end it just always blows we always blow not blow it but like uh but it, it always, away always lets bit. it slips away yeah so i mean we just need to play strong at the end of games and that's really our kryptonite is the end of games is when really we fall apart sometimes so i think we just need to come together better at the end of the games six months you'll uh, be moving on from holy redeemer high school Let's talk about your experience at Holy Redeemer and what do you think is next for you? Um, I was thinking about going to either Temple University or Scranton and to study accounting. Right. Sounds like a pretty interesting future for you. We wish you the best of luck the rest of this basketball season, of course, in the volleyball season and in your future endeavors, okay? Thank you. James Kozik with us from Holy Redeemer. Uh, James, let's talk first uh, about Coach Guido. He says, okay, James, this is what you got to do on that floor tonight. What's he yeah. What's he want you to do? Well, he's very, it's a very unique style of play. I feel like it's very, um, it's like a flow offense for us, really. He, it's a pass, cut away, pass, cut away. It's more um, more motion on the floor and letting us play for, for to our strengths instead of just a set offense. And then on defense, he's really big about um, stretching in. Um, closing out, no baseline, just like 
the staples for defense. How about the strengths that, that you see on your team? What, what do you guys have? You have a couple bigs that you could get the ball into? Uh, we do. We have uh, three main bigs, uh, J.D. Taroski, Luke Nealon, and uh, Nick Krochak, who's been really playing well for us being that young. Um, they've, pre they've been pretty consistent for us, but... Um, that's a big thing with us, consistency. So, like, our guards really got to step – they really had to step it up this year, and um, I feel like they've been playing pretty well. Do a heck of a job in the classroom. So talk a little bit about being a student and, and really having that gift of, hey, you know, I, I have some special talents, but at the same time I work on it. Oh, yeah. The, the big thing is time management. It's tough because sometimes um, I'll be there from 7.30 in the morning to about – 7:30 at night sometimes so it's really about time management coming home doing homework going right back out having to play a game so uh, always just got to keep your mind in it and for you uh, let's talk about that future uh, what, what lies ahead for James all right well I want to uh, study pre-med at either Villanova or Pittsburgh University and uh, possibly Temple as well and uh, no career in uh, sports but I'd like to to be a coach in the future and stay in touch with the game. Let's talk about the, the pre-med major. Where yeah. does some of that aspirations come from? Anyone in the family uh, or just yeah. something you're kind of yeah. working well, towards? My dad's a physician. My mom's a PA. And uh, my sister will be a physical therapist. So I felt like medicine was only the right path for me. And it's very interesting to me. So I just want to pick an area and go with it. Busy lives for your parents, but talk about the support I'm sure that you get from them to say, okay, hey, you're going to be a busy guy too if oh, this yeah. is what you want to go into. Oh, but yeah. I'm sure they told you the pros and the cons yeah. of it. Yeah. Well, they've always supported me. Like, They've always went with my decisions and any medical decision that I've had, they've dealt with it. So they've been a real influence on me. And uh, they've always been a big support for me, especially coming to all my games since I was in second grade. So they've always supported me and I thank them for that. And I wish you the best in your future endeavors. Thank you. Jason Stachokas joining us from the Holy Redeemer Boys basketball team. And uh, Jason, the toughest part of the interview is probably your name, but uh, let's talk a little bit about uh, your role there at uh, Holy Redeemer this season. Yeah, um, well, we, we all got to score the ball, so it's just a balanced offense. So everybody has to look to score, uh, distribute the ball, rebound the ball, play defense, everything. Let's talk about uh, some of the players around you. You can say, hey, uh, you know, a couple of these guys are playing pretty well. Give us a couple right. names. Um, my point guard, Joey Judge, he's playing very well this year. He's handling the ball very good for us. Some turnovers here and there, but he's handling the ball well for us. Um, we have Colin Cook. He can score the ball pretty good. James Kozik scores the ball. He plays defense very well. Um, our big man, Nick Prochak, JD, Luke, everybody, they play well. Joe Leo, he's a stretch four. He plays very well, too. Coach Gino, uh, Coach Layton, uh, guys like that uh, that are trying to emphasize uh, what it's like to be a team member, or what it's like to be a leader as a senior, and, right. and what it's like to play the game of basketball with their style. Let's talk about some things that you, you took from those coaches. Right, um, Coach Gino, Coach Layton, they both they, they helped us all summer, and everything they said we stuck to it. Everything they did we stuck to it. Playing well together, playing well now. You'll be graduating in just a few months. Uh, they're wrapping up your, your high school career. Let's talk about what's next for you. Right. Um, I'm undecided where I want to go to college yet, but I, I think I want to play basketball still next year. Um, I might. I want to go for nursing, I'm pretty sure. It's been a popular major. A lot, right, of, yeah. a lot of guys and gals getting into the nursing field. Tell us about some feelers that you put out to say there's some opportunities with nursing. Yeah, right. Um, my two sisters, they went for nursing at Wilkes. And uh, Wilkes is up there. I think, I, I think I'm going to end up at Wilkes. Um, the nursing program is well there. It's doing well. Well, we appreciate you coming out here to our Carol and Janelle joining us tonight. And uh, best of luck there in your future. Thank you. Moving along to Joe Leo from the Holy Redeemer Boys basketball team. And uh, Joe, let's talk about... Uh, this team this year, you guys are kind of in the middle at about eight at seven or so. Um, when you guys are winning games, what's going well out there on the floor for you? Um, when we're winning games, we're rebounding very well. We have some big men off the bench, and we have some young guys who are really getting in there, Colin Cook and Nick Prochek. They're really doing good things out there. We also shoot the ball well in most of our games. So we, we shoot a lot of threes, and when we're shooting them well, we usually win, but when we shoot them bad, so those are the losses. Maybe the shooting's off a little bit. How about getting after it defensively? Who's playing well defensively this year? Oh, well, we have a lot of guys who play well defensively. We usually limit teams to like lower than 50 points. Uh, you know, James Kozik, he's a great defender. He's probably the best defender on our team. Uh, Luke Nealon, 
Nick Prochek, they play well down low, and J.D. Taraski too. A couple of guys here going on to do bigger and better things, uh, one of them pre-med. You're a guy that's kind of looking possibly in that field as well. Yep, uh, I hope to go to study biology. I'm not sure where yet. Yeah, I plan to go to med school after. But I'm not sure what kind of doctor, but I'll be a specialist, I hope. All right, it sounds interesting. How about the... Some of the motivation for that field, uh, some people that uh, you know in the family, or just something that really interested you? Oh, I'd actually be the first doctor in the family, but I've always loved science since I was young, so I plan to use that to the best of my ability. How about your experience at Holy Redeemer overall as a student and as an athlete? What's it been like for you? Well, it's been great being involved in various clubs and playing basketball. Uh, doing a lot of things really helps me to use my time well and you know use all the time I have to the best of my ability to keep my grades up and do other clubs and basketball. When you're not playing basketball, you're not studying, uh, what do you try to do to, for fun? Maybe it's, you know, you hang out with these guys or do something else. Any hobbies or uh, anything? Uh, I like to hang out with my family and stuff, some family parties and stuff, and just other things like that. Soak up the family time. Everybody likes that. Yep. All right, Joe, well, we appreciate you coming out tonight, and best of luck in your future endeavors. Thank you. Michael Lyons joining us from the Holy Redeem try that again. <laughs> Michael Lyons joining us from the Holy Redeemer boys basketball team. Uh, Michael, let's talk about your role on the team. Uh, what does coach expect of you? Uh, really just to bring intensity during practice and whenever I'm needed to do whatever I can to win games and whatever I can do to help. What are some, some qualities of this team you say, okay, uh, we're really doing this well right now. Coach probably tells you things you do well, things you need to improve on. Let's first talk about the positive things you see out there when your team's on the floor? I mean, often a lot of defensively intensity. We've been keeping teams pretty low scoring. And then, I mean, just scoring is sometimes where we struggle, just putting the ball in the hole. But I mean, some games we're on, some games we're not. So it fluctuates. As far as uh, some of the younger players, and you guys are all seniors here. So let's talk about influencing some of those younger guys and saying, hey, we need them to do this. Who are some of those younger players that you think are stepping up? Uh, Colin Cook, Nick Prochak, they've been really playing good. Especially yeah, and Colin, he's been stepping up big and having big games, so and hopefully he'll continue doing that. Classroom, something that you seem like you got down pat. Uh, let's talk about your studies and, and your parents and, and trying to say, okay, hey, we really need you to do this, Michael, and you're doing the job. Yeah, uh, I mean, just studying before practice or after practice, whenever I can fit it in. I mean, it is time management, but it's not that, that bad. It's great when everybody says, hey, you know, I scored 20 points in high school, I scored 17, or I had 20 rebounds. But for you guys, I think it's more of a pride thing to say, you know, I'm going to go be a doctor, or I'm going to be in the nursing field, I want to go be an engineer. Let's talk about what you plan on doing in your future endeavors here. Yeah, I plan either going probably Penn State or Temple to study engineering, but because I like math calculus subjects like that but still unsure another popular field is engineering but you got to be a pretty darn good student like yourself to to get that job done uh, any engineers in the family at all uh yeah my dad is he works at Penn Dot. he's a civil engineer awesome well we wish you well there in your future endeavors in the engineering field okay all right yep thank you anthony kudari from the holy redeemer boys basketball team and uh, anthony we we'll switch over and we head to basketball now for you you're a busy guy there at holy redeemer let's let's talk about the, the fun you're having right now on the court yeah, uh, we had a really good soccer season, and coming into basketball, something very excited. I, I love to play with the guys. I got a lot of my good friends. We got six seniors, a lot of guys that I've grown up playing the game with. So transitioning from soccer to basketball is definitely something I look forward to uh, every winter and getting out there with the guys, getting some shots up, and hoping to get some wins in. Tony, a couple weeks of this season left. until Unless you can extend it, how does Holy Redeemer try to extend their season over the next few weeks? Well, I still think we have some of our best basketball ahead of us. I mean, we've lost a couple close games here and there, but uh, we've been right in them. And we have a lot of young guys with us, a lot of energy coming off the bench. So I think if we can just capitalize from those minutes from those other guys and really just minimize the turnovers and come together as one unit, we should have a pretty good postseason run. And I'm sure Coach Guido, Coach Layton kind of emphasize, hey, hey, you seniors, you seniors, there's, there's a little bit of a role for, for the seniors. So talk about what you think that, you know, your responsibility is to kind of emphasize something in the next few weeks. Yeah, Coach Guido's always on our seniors about having that senior leadership because we do have a lot of uh, younger key players coming in playing major minutes for us. And what we really try to do is just set an example every single day in practice, take every single drill seriously because now it's starting to finally set in. We only have 
four, five, six basketball games left of our competitive careers. So each game matters more and more going later into the season. Each practice becomes more and more special. And as much as we try to pass it on to the younger guys, it's not something they'll truly understand until they are a senior, unfortunately. But we try to do our best to let them know that they need to appreciate what they have now because it's going to go in the blink of an eye. I think you're mature enough to understand that you know it's not just about sports when you're in high school. It's about being a well-rounded person. You happen to be one of them, but uh, there's five other guys over there that seem like they are as well. Talk about being that balance of a student and athlete at Holy Redeemer. Yeah, um, Holy Redeemer, I think, boasts one of the healthiest populations of student athletes in the area. As you said, um, all these guys are my good friends. I've known them since like kindergarten, grade school, and our parents also, as you know, grades first, sports second. And while sports have been a great filler for everything and definitely help with a lot of friendships, if you can't get it done in the classroom, everyone knows you're not going to be able to get it done on the court. So um, being being able to have that balance of both school and sports has been uh, a blessing and something I'm very grateful to have these past couple of years. I think we spoke to you in the fall about that future. Endeavors. I think we got what it was. We're not sure where it was yet, right? But no, uh, you, yet. you getting any closer to deciding where you're headed? Yeah, I've heard back from a couple schools. I actually ended up applying to 15, so uh, we still have uh, <laughs> a couple to hear back from, but I heard back from five so far, and we'll just wait and see, I guess. Well, it sounds like uh, you got your plan uh, ahead of you. It's all good stuff, and uh, of course, uh, the best of luck the rest of the season and, and in your future, too. Thank you.